There was a great sage in the name Paravasu. His wife was very youthful and beautiful. Once, in order to do a yagna for a king, sage left his wife alone in the ashram and went. At that time, another sage in the name Yavagriva saw her. He went crazed on seeing her beauty. He made her also fallen for him. When they were together, Paravasu sage's father and that Rishi Pakni's father-in-law, sage Sapya, saw them. He called her. In anger, he cut her into pieces and put it in homagni. Even after that, his anger did not subside. Owing to his yoga maya, he took his daughter-in-law's skin altogether and created a terrible asuri. He ordered her to swallow the wicked Yavagriva. That asuri took the form of that youthful, beautiful Rishipatni. She went to Yavagriva and said cunningly, My father-in-law has come to Yagnashala. If you kill him, we can be happy again. Yavagriva came along with her in the forest. At that time, an asura came there with a trishul in his hand, killed Yavagriva and took that girl and went off. Yavagriva's father saw his son dead and was shocked in grief. He thought that sage Sapya only killed him. He got much angry. He went to him. You killed my son and you will be killed by your son. He cursed him saying so. At that forest itself he cremated his son. After some time, one day, sage Sapya went to the pond in that forest to do Sandhya Vandana. He covered himself with deer skin and went. At that time, his son, Sage Paravasu, returned to Ashram after doing Yagna with the gifts that the king gave. At that time, Sage Sapya also returned to Ashram covering himself with deer skin. Sage Paravasu thought it was a deer and in fear, he shot an arrow over it. Sage Sapya died. Only then, Paravasu knew it was his father who had covered himself with deer skin. Sage Paravasu was much worried. That night itself he cremated the body. Next day morning he went to his brother Sage Bharatwaja and said him all what happened. What price should I should do to get rid of the sin? He asked. Sage Bharatwaja said, Oh, you cannot do price chit for such a big sin. You be here. I'll go into the forest and do severe penance and wash away your Brahmahati dosha. As he said, he went to forest, did severe penance, got rid of his brother's Brahmahati dosha, returned to his brother's place. Seeing him return after his penance, Sage Paravazo shouted, Hey Dushta, you killed our father and went to do penance. Don't enter here, go away. Bharadwaja was shocked. He didn't know what to reply. King's army men thought, what sage Paravasu said was true. They tied and pulled and went sage Bharatwaja. They tortured him saying, he killed his father. Sage Bharatwaja was a Mahanyani. He didn't get angry even a little. He joined his hands above his head and prayed, Indra, Agni, Varuna, all Devas, if I had killed my father, you all yourself kill me, the Mahapabi. If I didn't kill, Make the rain of Amrda fall on me and make me cool. If I had done Homa so far and had served elders, may my dead father, Sage Sapya and Sage Yavagriva get back their life. Devas appeared before him to bless him. They made Amrta rain fall on him and wetted him. The wounds in his body disappeared. Sage Sapya and Sage Yavagriva came to life. Sage Bharatwaja returned to his place happily. Like this, many wrong things happened because of excess desire.